Franco's has been the heart and soul of St James's for over 75 years, since the 1940s, when it was actually called Frank's. Now, Frank ran an English restaurant alongside a coffee shop called Mocaris, and he had an Italian waiter, which he suggested return soon after the war, and he would sell the restaurant to him as he wanted to retire. This Italian waiter did exactly that and returned. Frank sold the restaurant to him and hence Franco's was born. Not only did he introduce an Italian chef, but he also brought Italian culture. When we restyled Franco's 10 years ago, we created both units under one roof. This created four areas. We had the outside, we had the bar area, we had the main restaurant, and we had the lower ground floor for the private dining. This created four unique areas and each have their own character and style. One of the magical things about Franco's is it attracts a range of people from businessmen to families. It has that real family feel to it. It has now been 10 years since the rebirth of Franco's under one umbrella and we feel that now it's time to introduce a little bit of glamour to the restaurant. <laughs> originally worked on this 10 years ago and did the original design for it, so it seemed a natural fit for me to come back in and do a makeover to take us forward for another 10 years. When I did the original design, I always had it in mind that there would be an opportunity to do something with more colour and more texture, and so a lot of the profiles and the details lent themselves very well to the sort of next incarnation, which was to bring all this colour and texture and pattern in. I had an idea that I wanted to have some geometric designs and so we looked around and you know there's a funny sort of historical link with David Hicks in German Street who had his original shop here and this paper we've got on the wall now is actually an original David Hicks design which is being reprinted in America so that was the catalyst for everything and we opted for the, um, the red and orange scheme and away we went. At Franco's we do a classic Italian uh, food Coming from uh, Lombardy, uh, North Italy, a lot of the cooking influence are from that region where we do a lot of uh, heavy rich food like stews and uh, game. But having said this, also got passion for the, for the south uh, ingredient, such as the bottaga from Sardinia, which is a grey uh, raw mallet. Almost all our vegetables are from Sicily, like tomatoes, because the, the, the weather conditions there are perfect. And uh, we always have a menu uh, traditional pasta, such as the tagliatelle, tagliolini, pappardelle. All our pasta is homemade. It's like eating at home. Ever since the 1940s, Franco's has really captured that feeling of being the local restaurant. It's the old favourite. I think Franco's was once described as your favourite cashmere jumper. It gives you that sense of comfort. The families and the local people in the area really warm to that. It's home. <laughs>